Hey there tech enthusiasts, welcome back to the Hawk Dive YouTube channel. This is your ultimate destination for all your tech related things. I'm your host Nickel and today we have something truly exciting in store for you. That's right folks, in this episode we are going to dive deep into the world of iPad and uncover some of its hidden gems. Now we all know that the iPad is an incredible device for browsing the web, streaming movies and playing games. From multitasking like a pro to transforming your iPad into a productivity powerhouse, there are a plethora of hidden features just waiting to be discovered and today we are going to unlock them together. Now before we begin, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more content like this and so that you never miss an update from us. We are constantly bringing you the latest tech insights, reviews and tips to enhance your digital lifestyle. I guarantee that you will find some of these features very interesting. Now if you don't have a 30 second attention span, you would have realized I had my t-shirt inside out. So let's get started with this video. Did you know that your iPad can be a multitasking powerhouse? Let's start by exploring the slide over and the splits view. These two incredible features can enhance your productivity. With splits view, you, you can run two apps side by side, allowing you to work simultaneously. Slide over, on the other hand, lets you overlay a secondary app on top of the current one which you're actually working with. This all is for a quick access and to increase your productivity. Now let me demonstrate how the slide over and the splits view actually work. You have to drag it upside so you can you can bring this menu up. Then you have to click on this no, notes app or whatever app you want to have. And then just basically it's going to create a menu uh, overlay and you can drop that app and have the same same uh, sort of. For the splits view you have to do the same thing but you have to keep both the apps simultaneously. What you have to do is drop the app on the side of the device and it's going to create space for the other app and then you can drop the app there and use both the apps simultaneously. The second tip would be Apple Pencil Mastery. Now we all know that Apple Pencil is an incredible tool that you can use to annotate things, write things or do absolutely anything draw or whatever you want now to make use of your apple pencil i'm going to show you an example of how you can actually utilize your apple pencil with your ipad so you can see that i can write on the ipad as you can see i can write anything make notes i can write my name on it do signatures you can even digitally sign on it and if you want to document scan on this you can click on this camera button and scan documents right here yeah so you can even change colors you can cl by clicking on this you can even bring this menu up use the scales to draw a line yeah to do this even highlight any of the stuff that you have written already and if you have a and if you have a drawing program like Procreate, you can even draw on it. Now I'm going to talk about some of the shortcuts and some of the hidden gestures that you can use in your iPad. Now there are a lot of shortcuts that you're going to need while you're using a keyboard with your iPad. Whether it, whether it is wireless or the newest keyboard version that you're using. After that, we are going to talk about some of the gestures that you can use and utilize them for a better productivity session. So let's start with the first shortcut that is command and tab. By pressing command and tab, you can switch between the already open apps. After that, command and space, which activates spotlight search. Spotlight search helps you get quick access to any apps that you want. You just have to type the name of the app and press enter. Now, after that, command plus H, it helps you go to the home screen for a quicker access, obviously. After that, command plus shift plus three, that helps you take a screenshot or there is already an option for on most keyboards for taking a screenshot. 
Now, the next shortcut is Command plus Shift plus 4. This takes a screenshot and opens the markup tool to edit that. After that, for the emoji lovers, you can press Command and Control plus Space to open the emoji picker from where you can pick emojis and stuff. Next, this is for the text editing shortcuts. You can press Command plus X to cut a selected text. After that, Command plus C helps you copy a selected text and Command plus V helps you paste that selected text or copied or cut text, obviously. Command plus C, as you most probably know, it's to undo a previous action and command plus shift plus Z helps you redo the previously undone action. Command plus A selects all the text. Command plus B helps you bold the selected text. Command plus I on the other hand helps you italicize the selected text. And lastly, command plus U helps you underline a selected text. Now we're gonna talk about some of the gestures that you can use in your iPad. First gesture is control center. You can swipe from the top right corner to access control center. For us multitasking geeks, we can swipe up from the bottom to access the multitasking tools. And if you're watching a YouTube video per se, you can pinch in to zoom on a YouTube video and pinch out to zoom out. You can also swipe down to use the spotlight navigate feature. Now, for customizing your control center, which is very, very necessary for us creators and your tech enthusiasts, open your settings on your iPad, scroll down and tap on control center. In the include section, you will see a list of controls that are currently enabled in your control center. To add a control, tap the green button. For example, if you wanna add screen recording to your control center, you have to click on the green plus sign next to the screen recording. And to remove a control, you have to tap the minus button next to it. And to rearrange the controls, you can tap and hold on the three horizontal lines next to the controls. Then drag it up and down according to your preferences. To access additional controls, tap on more controls. And here you will find a list of controls that are available but not currently enabled in the control center. You can tap the green icon next to it for easy access and to add it to the control center. And once you have customized all the control center apps according to your liking, you can exit the settings app. In conclusion, we hope this video has shed light on the incredible hidden features of the iPad, unlocking a world of possibilities for you as the user. From productivity hacks to creative shortcuts, the iPad is truly a versatile device capable of enhancing your digital experience in ways you may not have imagined. We sincerely thank you, our viewers, for joining us on this exploration of these hidden gems within the iPad. Your support and engagement mean the world to us. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insights and inspired you to make the most of your iPad's capabilities. Remember to stay curious and keep discovering new features and functionalities. The iPad continues to evolve. There will always be more to uncover. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel Hawk Dive for more exciting content in the future. Thank you once again for watching and may your iPad journeys be filled with endless innovation and enjoyment. Thank you.